Tees, back three pointers, TV, man. I am here, still here, outside the Emirates. Got AFTV behind me. We've got my man, another debutant. Yes, <laughs> has arrived. What is going on tonight, man? To introduce yourself, man. All right, my name's Liam. Some of you might see me on AFTV. Yes, um, sir. Just out here at every Arsenal game, supporting the club, doing what, I, doing my bit anyway. As, yeah. As a season ticket holder, paying fan. And also, bro, you seem you seem pretty drained, boy. After that, after that game, two two draw. Would you expecting that result? Um, nah. I was expecting a win. I was expecting a win. I Fair thought, enough. I thought we have the quality in our squad to win by two clear goals, and I was I thought we need to as well. Um, however, what I say is after watching the performance, I'm, I'm not disappointed with a draw. Some people think it's it's over when we go there, but it's not the same Bayern Munich, and I've been watching Absolutely. them since ever since the draw. I totally and I agree. Found out we was getting them. I thought, you know what? Let me watch a few of their games, and they have not looked good. No. Especially at home, they have not looked good. So I think if Dortmund are beating them, we're better than Dortmund. There's every chance we can go there and win. And and, and talking about our, you know, you look at the performance we had against Brighton over the weekend. I, I thought that was absolutely phenomenal because um, obviously. Brighton hadn't been beaten since August yeah. at their place. I didn't realise that, that until after someone said that. Right, and, that, and same with me. So, I mean, going into this game, you were fairly confident that Arsenal were going to get a pretty much convincing result. Like, we would, you know, clean sheet would have been preferred. Would have yeah. been would have been a preference. Of course it would. And our defence have been so solid this season, it's a bit disappointing to see them have a lapse. But one other thing where we can hold on to and take confidence from is that our away performances have been phenomenal. Like when we're getting them 6-0 slaps against Burnley and West they were away. Right. So our away performances have, I wouldn't say been better than our home, but they've been just as good. So Absolutely. there's every chance we go by and you can get a result away. And I know it didn't work out for us at home today, but you know, you've also got to think, we've still got the Premier League and we've still got Aston Villa on the weekend, who's not going to be easy. And I know this is a bigger game and you'd want your bigger stars to feature today but in the back of my mind I'm like right fine Kiwi all started today maybe we're going to start Tomiyasu and Villa on the weekend and we're going to look a bit more solid maybe we're going to start party on the weekend and we're going to look a bit more solid there so you'd like to think if they have a good game against Villa they're going to start against Munich away and we could even go in with a stronger start in 11 whereas Bayern I think that's their best performance this season yeah. so they've sort of shown their hand and we know what we're up against now going there so Absolutely. it fills me with confidence that we can at least get a draw, go to extra time and get another Porto result. But I do feel like we'll set up similar to how we set up against City. And I don't think they're anywhere near as good as Man City. So I just feel like on the counter, we can catch them, we can nick the goal we need and we can sit back so like we, we did against Luton. Head. I'm like, this so, guy, well, for me, this guy knows what he's talking about. I, I feel like it's going to happen. I feel like it's our year and it's going to happen. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. It just wasn't to be. But I don't think it's... But I, I, I've, all right, so this is what I'm observing from you, Liam, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, you, you've been clearly watching Arsenal very closely this season. You've probably watched them lot, like, and you're comparing them to last season. And you're looking at all the sort of things that they've been doing with the goals, the amount of goals they've been scoring away from home, yeah. the way they're set up defensively. So it makes sense what you're saying. I mean, that's as far as I'm concerned, but it's interesting how a lot of, there's quite a few Arsenal fans that are very doubtful that we're going to get anything when we go back to their place. They maybe haven't watched as many games as me then, but <laughs> what I'd say... It's very, it's baffling. It, it's absolutely it, baffling. It, it takes a performance of the same quality as the ones we put in recently. Right. And I feel like the occasion here is bigger. The players will have to step up just to achieve the same level of performance. So they still need to step up. Absolutely. But well, I think they know what they're off. up against. This is yeah. what I think. I think they're going to assess this performance. They're going to look at it. They're going to look at the tapes. And uh, now they've got something to work with. And, then, and I feel like they know exactly what they need to do when they go to their place. That's exactly how I feel as well. Thank you very much, Lee. Enough said, man. And that is football for you. <laughs> the Three Pointers TV tease. We are signing off, man. It's getting late. Bruh, you got work tomorrow, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> <I got back. laughs> All right, man. Big up. Thank you for making your debut appearance, man. And hopefully, I'll see you again, bro. I right, see you, man. Big up, man. Yeah. Respect.